We're back. They're We're back. back. It's with really more detonator. All right, let's get to the chase, Bob. Berserker Barrage. So we saw Logan, the movie, the recent X Men. Well, would you say X Men movie or Wolverine movie? Yeah, I guess the Wolverine movie, Bob. Yeah, I mean it didn't have that. It, well, it was obviously not revolving around the X Men. It was more like. Uh, it was it was revolved around old man Logan, as I was uh, told. But don't forget that Professor X is in this too. Mm -hmm. Along with who was the vampire guy in the movie? Oh, Caliban. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that was kind of about the extent of it. Yep, that's about right. Yeah, we saw the movie, and what did you uh, think about the movie? Well, uh, did you like it? I, I liked it. I mean, Wolverine's a very uh, dark character to begin with. He's very grisly, a lot of gruesome deaths. That's not well known in the comic books so that was good uh i know should we point out what we didn't like or not yet? well let's let's do a little bit like you know the usual short thing like the non-spoiler like quick like summary like oh like did we like it and so forth and just okay. like quickly get that out of the way and then dive into it deeper into logan's past yeah. or future I just cut say. into it but uh yeah Stick uh, it in. <laughs> i had a good pace i thought it was uh just over two hours uh, a lot of uh, dramatic scenes, a lot of deaths, obviously. Uh, well, yeah, you gotta <laughs> have to have that because uh, pretty sure this this was this PG thirteen or was it mature? Oh, it was actually rated R. Oh, yeah, there was. Uh, yeah, yeah, for, yeah, you were talking well, about for obvious that. reasons. There were you know decapitations, which I don't believe happened in uh, the previous X Men films. So yeah, uh, and obviously a lot more uh, blood and. Gore, although yeah. it's kind of like it's, it was kind of too fast for that to happen. Yeah, it's true, very fast. Uh, as for me, I, I enjoyed the movie. I have not actually seen any of the well, I've seen a couple of the X Men movie, X Men One and Two, but I've never seen any of the Wolverine movies. This is my actually my first first Wolverine movie, and in the last of its series, perhaps because Hugh Jackman's not coming back for more Wolverine. Apparently not. Yeah, that was the strange thing, because I, I thought this this movie, Logan, was the movie he wasn't going to be in, it, but it, it was like, oh, it's actually, uh, he's actually in this movie. Yeah. But yeah, I, I enjoyed the movie. Um, it was a fun watch, and considering I'm watching the, watching like an end of a, of a, of a character, it left a pretty decent, uh, de pretty decent uh, impression on me. And it also uh, showed us the new the new blood, so to speak, X twenty three, right? That was uh, oh yes, yes, a great performance by uh, Daphne Keene. Yes, who I always seem to forget. Yeah, is she is she related <laughs> to Michael Keene? No. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I thought the performances were were, were well done. Um, were you surprised that uh, a lot of uh, f bombs were being dropped throughout? Nah. No, nah, not really. No, nah, I mean, it's Wolverine. If you don't have that, it's kind of like... I guess. <laughs> you're, you're downplaying him. But yeah, overall, I, I enjoyed the movie, and I would uh, recommend checking it out if you haven't seen it, even if you're not a fan. I mean, I wasn't a fan, and I enjoyed it. Uh, what would you say was your favorite part? We'll, we'll, we'll dive into that. Later. Later on. But uh, would you recommend the movie in terms of like just like non-spoiler-ish? review yeah if you're a fan of uh logan wolverine i think you'll you'll, you'll enjoy it uh is it th as great as everybody make it made it seem uh you know i wouldn't say it's it's the best movie ever or anything like that but it, it's, it's good for what it is no but it, it was enjoyable yeah. unless you're a uh, batman's vegan sidekick <laughs> all right but yeah let's dive into it yeah let's do it <laughs> all right what's next okay so what's the movie about what's the plot synopsis of it well, it's basically uh, some, uh, I don't know, are they like a government program? I don't know, they're trying to rec uh, make, or they're using DNA of... Oh, well, I think I think you're jumping a little farther. Far? Okay. So what, what, what was up with, like, with the X-Men in this universe in this time? Like, what was their status, status at this point? Well, it seemed like uh, most of them were gone already. Uh, yeah, no, it was, you know, Cyclops, yeah, no, Storm, Cyclops. Jean Grey. Professor X is still around. Uh, he's he's like, the only one that's like, around. Having kind of a mental breakdown, he's he's losing his mind a little bit uh, and losing control of his powers, his powers, seizure, seizures, and things like that. Um, Logan's also losing control of his, his powers. His it's not uh, weakening. Um, and then what else happens? Caliban, I guess, is just help trying to help him out. 
Yeah, but right, but like tracking mutants, <laughs> like that was kind of the thing. That's yeah. how we're, that's how X twenty three came in. Oh, yeah, that's true. And it was just like um, so. Basically, Logan and and uh, Professor X are just kind of hiding out from what? Are, what were they hiding out from? I was I was kind of confused by this movie when they when they did the thing later on in the movie. They were like showing comic books of the X Men. It's like, wait, <laughs> do people hate the X Men here or do they like them? It's like. But what's going on? So they're hiding from something. I think they just they, don't want to be discovered by, you know, the, the higher-ups, government. Oh, yeah, probably because, um, actually, now that I think back to it, uh, you know, Professor X is a danger to all those yeah. around him, so, you know, he was moved out of, uh, moved far away from, like, civilization out in the desert. And who was oh. that, that guy with the, uh, that, like, cyborg arm, Donald or something? Was that his name, Donald? I just remember, I heard Donald one time, I don't know. Not Donald Trump, obviously, but, <laughs> yeah, but he had the, uh, the metal arm there, and uh, he was a bit of a prick, wasn't he? Yeah. Yes. He was very Australian, <laughs> kind of. He was basically trying to use the mutants for their uh, their own, uh, you know... Pet project. Evil, well, not pet evil project, evil but this, this, uh, yeah. this project where they were, where they were making... Um, they were making new mutants intentionally, and instead of letting it happen, like, accidentally? Yeah, they were cloning them with, you know... DNA, like Wolverine's well, DNA, Logan's DNA. Uh, well, yeah, they were yeah. cloning, but they were also creating, like, new ones to work as their, like... Slaves, yeah. Slaves and, like, um... Like, their own private military army yeah. of mutants. Like, they try to create them without having any kind of... Emotion. Emotion or... Killing machines. Yeah, just killing machines, basically, yeah. But things didn't work out, and hence, uh... And hence, uh, that's where X-23 comes in. Yeah. Let's see, base... Yeah. Oh, uh, what was it? That, when, when, oh yeah, Logan's a chauffeur in this, in, yeah. in at this point in time, because, like, right. <laughs> you know, what, what else is he gonna do? And, I don't know, that's, that's what he does, apparently. And when, during, like, uh, the chauffeur to, like, this, uh, what was it, this memorial scene, this, this lady comes out asking for his help. Oh, yeah. And then things obviously kind of escalate after that, where it's like, uh, oh, I have this. I have this girl from this um this mutant project that needs to, that we want to um. St- want to save, so that they can't be used as weapons to give them a life, a freedom, a choice. Yes, and, uh, to be a kid. So she she needs his help, and she's willing to pay him, but uh, unfortunately complications uh, complications arise, and Logan realizes that yes, this is a dangerous situation, and he's gonna have to protect X twenty three somehow. Well, Even though she's kind of reluctant to, to join him. Right? Well, same same with him. He was reluctant <laughs> yeah, to do it because he was like, true. I don't. He was like, I don't give a fuck about yeah, this. Like, true. fuck you. I got bigger things to do. But Patch, uh, Patrick Stewart. Yeah, yeah, Patrick Stewart. <laughs> Professor X was like, Oh no, 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 Logan. Yeah. You 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 must save her. She yeah. she she's a new mutant now. Yeah. Yeah. Out. Yeah. So that's how um, that's how they all come together. Yeah. Uh, with bringing. X-23 to this location that was marked down in a comic book, which was pretty bizarre, I gotta say. Yeah, it felt very weird. It, uh, it kind of, it's almost like I was telling you that they were using the, the whole uh, popularity of the Deadpool movie to break the fourth wall. So they Speaking brought, of brought which, this comic book. It just made it uh, very strange. Speaking of which, earlier before the movie, uh, yes. there was a Deadpool 2 trailer it with was. the Logan movie playing in the background. And yeah, it was a had, short version, too. It was, yeah. Uh, Strange. Oh, I noticed it because I saw the long version. Yeah, that was kind of that was kind of strange, but yeah. <laughs> Which also answered your other question, I think, from a previous vlog on Deadpool is that is that it's not by Disney Marvel, it's by Fox Marvel. Oh, that makes sense. You know, that's all the R rating because you were like, wait, how would Disney get away with this? It's like they wouldn't. Yeah, it's true. Well, what's what's next on the list? Uh... Well, so now it's just like a a, um, a road trip to their destination, and Pat and uh, Professor X tries to get Logan to warm up to her, and well, uh, there's supposed to be some sort of relation built between the two of them because later on you, we find out that he's the father, yes, of John Connor, no, <laughs> the father of X twenty three. But I I imagine if you're a comic book fan, that's not a surprise. No, I. I kind of wasn't surprised. I, I was like... Because I saw that one X-Men movie where... like Was it X-Men 2 that had like an X-23? And I was like, oh, she's a clone of you. And I'm like, well... 
I wasn't surprised when this movie happened. It wasn't really... Yeah, she was kind of like... Uh, they used the adamantium... I forget what that character was. It wasn't Lady... De- was it Lady Deathstrike? Maybe it was. I'm not no, sure. no, no, no. It was no? Like she, she had the, like, the two... It wasn't Lady Deathstrike? No? In the mm. comics, Lady Deathstrike did have adamantium. Because she was trying to steal it from... Steal a secret from Wolverine and like use it for herself and, uh, and her dad, I guess. But I forget what happened. <laughs> Yes, but uh, yeah, a lot of cloning in this, uh, which brings us to the part that uh, you know Logan is going through some struggles through his life, and he's never been able to end his life, even though he's tried. And then uh, in, by the movie, they they want to, I guess, make that into reality by creating a clone that, that would uh, try to attempt to kill him, right? But that was, what do you think of that? Did you like that that a clone would try to kill Logan? Mm, on one hand, it was like uh, I. Hmm. I don't know, I feel kind of mixed about it. On one hand, it's like, oh, cool, old Wolver- older Wolverine versus uh, younger Wolverine. Who's going to win? Yeah, Probably that's true. Definitely the younger one. But at the same time, it's like, it's kind of like when Deadpool said in the movie, it's like, man, it's as if there's only two X-Men in this movie. As if some sort of uh, company didn't have the budget for <laughs> Yeah. I would have liked if Sabretooth came by, but no. no yeah, yeah, you no preferred a different. You yeah. preferred a different villain uh, in happening in this move. Uh, happening in this movie. Yes. But uh, you know, I think we looked underneath the movie as like, oh, this is a metaphor of like you must face yourself or some yeah. some crap like that. And it was like, uh... <laughs> I feel kind of mixed about that. Speaking of which, uh, did you know that? For, uh, and I and I talked with you about this before. Did you know that Hugh Jackman was actually not in most of the scenes? Yes, he showed me. He was uh, he was just r- running on the spot, making the motions with the claws, and and no, no, uh, no he was just voicing or, someone uh, else who was acting his scenes out, and they did oh, the CGI, right? Yeah, yeah CGI, uh, kind of like what they were doing with Star Wars, except here it was like, oh my god, that looks so real, yeah, realistic, yes. Like, did not notice. And Daphne Keen, I'm sure the same thing. Uh, was it's the same thing. They found a different kid to, or yes. probably a kid. I wouldn't yeah. say midget. <laughs> Because it's like, it, I don't think you can disguise that, but it's like, they found another... She obviously wasn't doing the stunts for for the movie, at least not all of them. Yes. So they also, like, digitally, like, placed her face uh, over the stunt double, too, which was uh, quite impressive, I gotta say, in terms of just overall making it all believable. Because for the... Because, like, 90% of it, I was like, I thought Hugh Jackman and... Uh, and what was it? Daphne Keene? Daphne Keene, yes. Daphne Keene was, like, in the, in those scenes. But, like, during the action scenes, it wasn't them. I was like, wow, that's impressive. You had me fooled right there. So the special effects were really good. Yes, they were. We weren't even aware that it was special effects right in front of us. And that's how you can tell it's a good special effect. Yes. All right. And uh, what would you say was your favorite parts of the film and least favorite? The... I like the silly moments where it's just... I like the silly moments where it was kind of like a character break. Like, um... Professor X when it was like, Did you eat the medicine? And he's like... <laughs> I, I, I like the funny parts in, yeah, in the movie, too. Uh, I also did like the action scenes. Yes. They weren't, like, amazing, but it was like... It was done well, and I liked it. Mm. What about the part where, uh... Professor X is having a seizure in the uh, casino. Oh. A, a build, uh, well, he's like in a, in a hotel room and uh, hotel casino. And then Wolverine's you no know, trying to make it back to the. Uh, the actually, room. you know what? I was actually wondering whether to say uh, I liked it or not, but now thinking back, that was a pretty good scene. Cut. Berserk and barrage. What were we talking about before? Uh, before the, we went the into a rage? part where. Uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Wolverine's trying to make it back to the room. Save him. Yeah, which was, uh, that that scene was, you know, at first I was like, eh, I'm not sure if I would say I liked that scene, but now thinking back to it, it was pretty funny. It was pretty funny, yeah, because they're all the, In a uh, tense way, too. All the enemies are just stuck there, they know he's coming, and they can't do anything about it, and we'll just... Like, they're, like, they're, like, they're, they're aware of it. He's <laughs> like, it, it, was, it was all like, yeah, they, they were pretty yeah. much essentially frozen, because Professor X was like... Yeah, it was like slow motion action. No, no. Kind well, of, yes, yeah. but it was like uh, his mental ability is paralyzing everyone yeah. in the in the, within the vicinity, like everyone, everyone, except for Wolverine, who manages his claws way through and just like stick it up in everyone. <laughs> so that yeah. part, that part was cool. Yeah, that was funny. The uh, parts I, what about the, any parts that you didn't like didn't about like, the movie, or that you know were just like 
No. Well, we mentioned the comic book. Yeah, and, and no, how, what about the action figure? And that too. That yeah. was just... Yeah, so spoilers. Of, of course, we're already spoiling things, but uh, at the end... But we're in the spoiler section. Oh, we're not? No, we're in the yeah, spoiler much, section. Yeah. We've so, cut the bag open. True. Uh, yeah, so basically, Logan's dead, and a child is uh, in front of him holding a. An this is in the. And this is in the near the end. Near the end. Actually, yeah. on the end. Pretty much, yeah. He's holding a Wolverine action figure in his hand. What the hell is that? Yeah, it's well, bullshit. Yeah, Come yeah, on. At the end, they're like they're kind of like uh, you know standing on memorial, like over like Wolverine's grave, and one of the kid from also the same institution that uh that X twenty three came from. Like these are the kids that are trying to run away. Yeah. Was just holding a Wolverine action figure. I was like. I was so confused by this because I was like I was saying earlier, like, wait, because the whole point of the X Men was that regular normal people, most of them hate the X Men, but then there's a comic about them, and everyone's all like, "Oh, the X Men are amazing and <laughs> such," and it's like, all right, do they hate them or do they not hate them? It's like, I don't know. It just it was just confusing, guys, because you know, Deadpool. There was an action figure where they were making fun of the the Weapon X movie. So they had the, where Deadpool was like basically turned into Weapon X and he was holding the action figure in the movie. But in this film, it doesn't make any sense. It's just breaking the fourth it, it, wall it again. It seems contradictory. Yes. And, and then going back to that comic book where it's like it has the location of a certain area on like, on like Earth, like the latitude and, and uh, longitude mm-hmm. of it. It was like the bad guys, no, well, I wouldn't say the bad guys wouldn't know about this, but it's like, it just it seems weird to base it on a comic. Like why? <laughs> I don't know. That part really bothered me. The comic part, like, just... Yeah, that that made weird. no sense to me. <laughs> I, I, like, I, I, I kind of couldn't even get, like, a chuckle out of it. Because it was just, like, it didn't make any sense to me. Uh, I'd say another scene that bothered me was uh, when the, the, the they were staying with that family. Mm-hmm. And the farm, whatever it was. and Because, uh, you know, deep down, something was bad was going to happen, right? So, Probably. So that, that was not a good... Not a good moment, I because you didn't you didn't want those people to get uh, you know slaughtered off like that, but yeah, the dad gets like killed, and but then he's like yeah. he's such a badass, he gets back <laughs> up. I didn't find that believable. I was like, uh, oh, he he seemed pretty fucked up. Yeah, I don't know. That, that those scenes were kind of messed up, but other than that, I thought that was overall was pretty good. Actually, you know what? I also like the scene where where uh, you know when they were talking with like the the sheriff in the in the cornfield. And it was like, well, well, Logan fucks with them. And yeah. it's like, fuck off. And then they come back and it's like, now I'm going to give you a chance to, <laughs> to apologize. It worked for me. But it wasn't, the, it's not the same Logan. It's it's young Logan. And then he fucks them <laughs> yeah. up too. And yeah, yeah. that part was pretty good. Yeah, I guess. Karma, yeah. But, uh, yeah. Anything else? They, oh, what do you think about like the, the pacing and the relation between like X-23 and like Wolverine? Logan. Oh, yeah. You know what I didn't like? X twenty three could uh, could have spoken English all this time, and she's just like she doing, the, doing the whole like. She was uh, speaking Spanish no, n- instead. Not senor. It's, it's it's like, it's like, and then at the end, and then when she talks, it's like, what the fuck? You speak English? Yes. It's like. I guess. I guess she had trust issues, right? Probably. Mm-hmm. Well, she was also kind of showing that she's she's still a kid. She doesn't know the th- like the like what's going on with the world. Like, for instance, when she was in the the convenience store and she was about to kill the the cashier guy, and like Logan's like, no, not okay. But they just steal the stuff anyway. And they he doesn't even pay. Like, <laughs> here, take the cash. <laughs> no. Don't. I, I was expecting him to do something yeah, like uh, that, but no, they just like just steals and yeah, goes yeah, right yeah. away. Well, did you like the fact that this was like one of the few Marvel movies that has nothing after the credits? That was kind of strange. Yeah, we actually sat after the yeah. credit, but do they do that in all Marvel movies, or just like say Disney uh, Marvels? You know, what? not all of them have something, but most of them would would have something after the, the credits. Yeah, so this was kind of felt odd. Uh, I guess they're really trying to show that yeah, it's done for Logan. Game that, over, Bob. <laughs> right. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. Well, but so. yeah, like you said earlier, like I enjoyed the movie. I'm not a fan, but I enjoyed the movie. And if you're not a fan, you would probably enjoy uh, watching it. And if you are a fan, watch it, bub. Yeah, that's all I have to say about it. <laughs> that's it. Yes. Yeah. Do you have any other have anything else you wanted to add to um, Logan? 
I can't really think of anything else now. Oh, if that's the case, Tornado Barrage! Got it! They're back in the It's Wizard and Detonator! It's Wizard and Detonator! It's Wizard and Detonator! Berserker Barrage!